Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had a beautiful couple of weeks since we were last on. I know in the last video, we actually had a live class real quickly, kind of just going over some trades together. And in that class, we got a total of 516 pips in like literally 20 minutes of chart time. So with one standard lot, that's $5,000, $5,000 in like 20 minutes. But Today, we're going to go ahead and go over those four trades we took. Three of them won, one of them lost. Real live trading, right? That's just how it goes. And then today, we've got four quick trades to go over that hopefully you guys are doing your due diligence, going to check out for yourselves, and maybe consider taking, even if it's paper trading, even if it's demo trading. But go try out what we're doing. Go try and see how these trades play out for you. The purpose of doing this is not only to support super easy and the simplicity system, but also to show you that trading is literally as easy as you make it. So obviously, if you're here, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and all that stuff that helps the YouTube algorithms. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see on the screen, I've got GBP CAD. Last, I guess that's actually May 4th chart time, May 3rd, you know, American time. We looked at GBP CAD, Odd CAD, Euro USD, and USD JPY, all four of these pairs. Now I'm gonna go through one by one and just kind of go over what we saw happen since that time. I'm not gonna zoom in because you guys can do your own due diligence and go measure for yourself. And again, that's recorded, it's live and it's public. You have access to all of that information already. But on, let's see, that's May 3rd, also May 4th for actual chart time. Let's go take a look. We were looking for a buy at that fractal break, right? And that happened in and around here, right? One of the buy, one hour time frame. Check that out, beautiful, perfect, 238 pips. It did not make a lower low, right? It came down and retested a little bit, but beautiful possible pips right there. So that's a lot of money on the table, guys. Obviously, you know you're protecting within one ATR if you're kind of scalping, within one ADR or 50 pips if you're looking to swing trade. So that's a winning trade, that's awesome. I will say there is more room right now as well. So for example, I'm not going to count this as my pip counts for next week, but to kind of give you an idea, we've got another 400-ish pips on the table just to come back up here and fill this liquidity void. So not a bad way to be. Great, awesome trade. Played out perfectly. So I'm going to take that off my watch list. And now we're going to go to Odd CAD, if I can talk properly. Not super known for that. On Odd CAD, we're looking for a buy. This is the Odd CAD, one hour time frame. I'm going to go over to May 4th. At that kind of that is the two o'clock candle one o'clock candle technically is when we recorded that and when we went live that's here we were taking that at the break oh stay still no don't be a pain hold on got it we were taking that at the break of that fractal you guys can see that right there 137 pips in total i actually only got 133 out of that one but still 133 pips is definitely not a bad way to be remember if you're trying to scalp you're protecting within one atr or you know, 20, 30 pips, depending on your strategy. And if you're trying to swing, you're protecting within 50 pips without a doubt and or one ADR. Really, really simple. Stop loss goes you know, below structure with some room for a spring. Again, perfect, beautiful winning trade. I'll also say this also has a little bit of room now and actually is this, no, this is not on my watch list for this week. Although if you're interested, it's setting up currently as we speak. So by all means, track that trade too. USDJPY, we were looking for the sell at the break of the fractal. And finally, after like however many weeks it was that the Japanese yen went completely crazy. Let's see, where's that at? Right in here. This was the most recent fractal that we were looking at. So we broke that on this candle. So we initially got a total of about, what is that, 140-ish pips. We came back up within room for that spring and came all the way down for a total of 240 pips. Not a bad way to be. Right now we're pushing up, although long-term, I'm still looking for another 500 pips of a drop on this, only upon confirmation, meaning I want it to break this structure right here. I want it to break these fractals. I'm not taking it unless it does. So that comes off of our watch list. Again, beautiful trade. Euro USD is the one that I lost. Um, I lost on this one a couple of times, actually, to be pretty transparent. That's part of trading. So let's come over here, May 4th. You can see that on the bottom of my screen. Scrolling over. We were looking for a buy, and technically, we had enough to protect that 50 pips. Um, 
There we go. Two o'clock candle if I can keep it still. We had enough, technically speaking, to protect the 50 pips. You can see the ATR is about 17. The ADR is about 100. We definitely should have been protected, but I can tell you very transparently, I did not protect on this one. I took a loss. It, of course, made a lower low. So in total, from where we entered, you know, you're looking at about 69 pips. And if you're adding room for a spring, I ended up losing a total of 94 pips on this trade per this account and week specifically. So overall, those four trades, right? You win some, you lose some. Crazy weeks in the market equaled only 516 pips, but it also only took us 20 minutes in two weeks. So depending on your lot size, that could be as small as 50 bucks. That's not a lot, 500 bucks. Again, eh, I mean, for 20 minutes of time, it's definitely not too bad. But also if you're using even a reasonably sized account, and you took this with one standard lot, which they call it standard for a reason, that's over $5,000 to kind of give you an idea. And every one of these pairs have a slightly different pip value. So it's not going to come out exactly to that level, just because, you know, I care about being digitally accurate here. But still, you're talking 5,000, 50,000 and insane amounts of dollars in 20 minutes time. So those were the trades we looked at last week. I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time um, tonight on YouTube or within the groups, mostly because I'm going to get my mother from the airport. My daughter's graduating this week. So woohoo, exciting, scary, emotional, and all that stuff that goes with it. But I did not want to leave you hanging and wanted to continue with my commitment. I'm really good, at least on that front. So let's go take a look at these other four pairs. Um, prior to continuing, actually, I'm going to go ahead and say this. There are a lot of things setting up in the market right now. There are a plethora of opportunities from indices to metals to cryptos and of course Forex. Most people's account, no matter how big or how small, cannot afford to be in all of them. So do your due diligence, pick the trades that are either most likely to succeed, right? Pick the trades that are most likely to produce the quickest because you can always take the pullback on the other ones. You can always take a re-entry on the other ones, but don't, and I mean, don't, 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 Please don't go try to be in 10, 12, and 18 pairs. It's just a really bad way to be, and it is a mess without a doubt. So I only got four for you this evening, and let's start from the top. Let's see. I'm, I'm looking at GU for a buy. Some of the other things that I already talked about are also interesting and or ready or setting up, but I'm waiting for a pullback on GU before I chase that trade. So let's continue with the USD pairs. USD Chef, I'm going to go ahead and add that to my watch list, Okay. This is the one hour time frame, USD Chef. We've got a nice simplicity signal. Remember, not a perfect system, but it doesn't need to be a perfect system. It needs to be perfect management. It needs to be systematic, duplicatable management to have success in this industry. Really, really easy across the board, not to, not as stressful and as difficult as most people make it, I should say. So here's where we're at. I'm gonna say, this is the candle we're at right now. Let's look at it on chart time. You can see the bottom of the screen right there. It says May 18th, one o'clock, because that's the time zone for you know, UTC or trading time. So if we come down here, what we're waiting for is either a break of this fractal, right? Also, this is going to retest a little bit. Do I know how much? No, I think it's definitely more ready to take off to the downside, but play a little bit of a retest. Don't freak out if you take it now and you say, oh my gosh, it pulled back. It's totally okay. But yes, we're looking for a sell at the break of that fractal. So that's on my watch list. Let's talk about the risk and reward on this trade. I'm going to zoom out and make it really ugly. Yes, I know I talk kind of fast. Leaving your stop loss way up here, plenty of room for a spring down to where I'm looking to take it, which is to fill this void. You're still at close to a two to one risk reward ratio. Overall, I'm looking for quite a bit more. I'm looking for closer to the 95 cents per. That's my major target is 95 cents on this pair. So not a bad way to be. That's a three to one risk to reward ratio. Highly favorable odds, not bad at all. So please consider taking a look at this. If you're not actively trading, that's totally fine. Go create a demo account. There's links in the link tree. Click on all of those, test them out for a little while. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to pay anyone anything, but go start practicing, even if it's only with these live YouTubes. It's an amazing way to change your life and others. So, But let's go ahead and keep going. Scrolling through what I have here. I think they're in order, maybe. EuroCAD, there we go. I'm looking for a buy on this one. I'm gonna zoom out again, just to show you why and how. 
beautiful possible setup where we're really trading in a range. I'm not looking necessarily for this to go super, super high. I am looking for from where we're currently at, wait for my crosshairs to catch up, all the way into this range, about 200-ish pips. Not a bad way to be. You're still at about a two to one risk reward ratio, a little bit less on this pair totally. But let's zoom in now and actually try to see some candles. I keep trying to erase this darn line, but it keeps coming back. <laughs> Big, uh, the, the symbols there. So I'll have to figure out how, how to do that. I don't know at this very second, but same concept, May 18th, one o'clock candle. You can choose to wait until the break of this fractal, but that's already 40 pips. That's already two ATR guys. I wouldn't necessarily wait as much. I'd let this pull down all the way into this kind of hot zone a little bit, and I'd have a pending order down here. So I'm going to make sure I notate that to say uh, EuroCAD at Fractal, okay, or at the 3480 level. So 1.3480, right, as a pending kind of limit, or you can use it as an alert system. I prefer that to limit orders, at least in active trading, not stocks. So that's on our watch list as well. A lot of pips potential on the table for that. Just high probability trade, that's all. Next is NZD CAD. Please notice that they're both CAD pairs. We can't be in all the same, uh, can't think, currency pair at the same time. So please be mindful of which ones you take and why. This is ultimately the better setup. So if I zoom out, you'll kind of get an idea. We have a lot more room on this. So if you have to choose between those two pairs, I'd highly say choose NZD CAD. The same kind of concept. You know what candle we're on. We're waiting for the break of this fractal. Let's talk a little bit about risk and reward. From the break of the most recent fractal all the way up to retest this area, you're looking at about 250-ish pips to 0.84. You know, we'll just say 0.84. Your stop loss is going to be below structure plus a little bit of room. You're better than a two-to-one risk reward ratio. So there's going to be a lot of opportunities to take entries in between here because this isn't going to play out overnight. Hence the reason I started only doing these kind of trades twice a month, you know, sometimes three times a month, because most of the time people fail at this system because they're trying to do a billion different trades, right? They're trying to do a billion trades on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. And they're like, why am I losing? Because you freaked out 20 times and you didn't let something play out. So this is meant to be swing trading. Maybe give it a chance to actually, you know, swing a little bit. Not uh, not an idea that you want to forget. Give your swing trades a chance to please swing a little bit. Um, last but not least is odd USD. I guess they were not in order. I knew they weren't. I am super in love with most of the USD setups right now. There are a ton of them. Now, remember, you can't take them all. I do want to notice that there, there is a pretty decent, you know, measurable trend line in this area. So figure even if we only get the break of this fractal, which is literally happening right now as we speak, your minimum target on this pair is going to be about 124 pips. This pair has been booming in comparison to what it was doing last year, two years ago. It is extremely high on the ADR for this pair particularly. So I would expect to see some consolidation, some slowdown, right? The market needs to digest these big moves that it's made. But, and that's a big but, we have divergence on in many forms, and ultimately, we're literally as we break breaking this most recent fractal. Your smallest take profit being you know fifty ish pips. There's no reason why this is not protected. There's no reason why you can't make money on that, and and just have a really sound easy trade. So yes, I'm taking this as a buy at the break of this fractal. If we pull back and retest upon continuation, I'm going to take another entry as well. So I'll double dip on this one personally. Um, at the break of fractal plus extra entry. Um, and, I, and I take notes on all this stuff. So I have you know, a year and a half for maybe longer for this strategy, but that is what we're looking for. Just those four pairs, nothing else. Um, as you can see, I don't, I don't know, I can't see on my Zoom window because I'm recording it a little bit differently this time, but this doesn't take very long. This took me a couple of minutes you know, after dinner to come in here, you know, look through the trades, you know, record this Zoom real quick for you guys, and that's it. It does not take long to find these trades. It does not take long to take them, preferably if you have some form of management in place. And then there you go. You just let it play out for the next two weeks and see how it goes. You can come back every couple of days and check on it or take another entry or, you know, do what you need to do per your actual plan. But otherwise, you don't, it doesn't 
there's, there's not a lot of work involved. So I hope that these videos are helpful. Um, I know in the future here, I'm going to do some kind of a series of something about Forex. So if you have something in mind that you want to learn from me, even if it's been done before by somebody else, by all means, put it in the comments. I did actually have somebody who was supposed to be managing the YouTube, but I will personally check the YouTube comments on this particular video. So if you have ideas that you want to hear about or learn about from me specifically, then I will go ahead and put them in the chat today for sure. Without a doubt, I will consider making those videos for you specifically. So with that said, I'm going to hop off. I'm actually going to go to the airport. I'm super excited. I hope you guys have a beautiful couple of weeks with all the celebrations and graduations and end of school years and summer beginning that we're going to be seeing over the next couple of weeks. And until then, take care and God bless.